back to Maple Farm and you might notice through the video on the field over in front that was in front of us the Agri are working away on some harvesting contracts so this was a video that I recorded while the multiplayer server was up um, I probably won't do that again because I I don't know if my internet was playing up it does sometimes you guys know that um, it was a bit laggy um, not ma not massively but every so often I'd have these kind of massive ping spikes and it would jump and it was not fun I think I edited them all out but we will see so yeah um, it, it was you know it was the weekend the guys were having fun playing on multiplayer so I just kind of left them to it I did have to steal the doits off them because I didn't have a tractor that I could use to feed the cows so yeah there was that I uh, so the next video is going to be us looking at the fleet for August so that's going to be fun I am looking forward to a huge spending spree um, yeah and I think we're going to be going green I think I might have said that in the last video anyway today we are going to be planting a cover crop in the field we harvested a couple of videos ago now actually so I, I did talk about options for you know it's July it feels very early in the year to be uh, to not be making use of the growth um, Mark suggested oats I don't remember if I had any other suggestions if I did I'm sorry yeah my uh, you guys know my brain is not at its optimal at the moment so yeah I remember Mark saying about oats because oats grow really quickly I thought about soybeans because as a kind of a break crop in the field to add nitrogen back in and we could have maybe whole crop them because they wouldn't have been fully grown but I'm gonna use grass at the moment um, just because it's simple and what I'm actually pondering is swapping the pastures over because we're growing more grass than we need so and I have I spoken about swap changing fields and stuff and I'm still thinking that we might sell 11 and 12 after the harvest but what I'm also thinking is we might turn 15 which is the food in front of us that we're going to plant with grass we might turn that into our new pasture um, so the area that we mow the cows don't graze in it backs onto the cow shed no we're not, we're not gonna do that um, I need to mow the grass and make silage and stuff but I might change that into what becomes the area that we mow for our feed um, and that plus the cover crops that we get I think is going to be more than enough to feed the cows and I might do I might give field I think it's field 19 or 10 I'm struggling to read that number on the screen Field that's our grass pasture now, we might plow in and plant a crop in there. So that kind of cycles things, which is one of the YouTubers that I talk about a lot. Actually, one of the farmers I talk about a lot who makes YouTube videos is Cow Farmer Dan, and that is something that they do. I think they tend to keep fields as grassland for about two years, and then they'll put a break crop in, um, either sugar beets or grain. So, and thinking that's what I might do. I'm still thinking instead of selling the two smaller fields um, and buying the field that's the other side of the trees or one of the fields that's up there. So that's kind of what I'm pondering. Um, the the Ford. So I think I spoke in the... No, I didn't speak in the last video. I thought I returned this in the last video. I'm confused. Maybe I didn't. No, I was using the Deutz and the Fent to bail, not the Ford. The Ford was just over here and kept here because of how many hours it had. Right, that's better. I was confusing myself there. Um, so the Ford is going to go today. That's why I'm getting confused because I've made quite a few videos. I recorded quite a lot on here. And uh, this is what I was saying about in, in I think, the previous video on here or maybe it, certainly in another video about me not doing just one series because I get confused between the videos that I've recorded versus the videos I've done commentary on and the way that my workflow works, I can't necessarily record a video and then straight away record commentary. The The previous video and this video were both recorded before I did the commentary for either of them. So, and that's why I get confused. And that's why I like having a few series on the go because the change of farm and save and things stops that happening for me. So, um, I also spoke in the last video about needing to sell slurry and we don't because we're going to throw it all on the field that we're about to plant 
obviously it's just been harvested so it's been stripped of most of its nitrogen so harvesting or well, sorry getting some slurry on makes sense because grass is going in i'm not going to put an insane amount on i just want to get enough that we are in a good position we do need to lime it as well um i am somewhat exploiting the fact that in I'm not sure what i'm checking here i think i'm checking the lime levels um or the nitrogen the other thing is where we've where we've harp mown field 19 so much it, need, it really needs a visit from the agronomist and 16 if i'm honest be a job or maybe before planting season um the reason that i'm not doing the lime just yet is a some of it is okay and b once we get into august we can use the the gps based application and it's just gonna make my life so much easier um i did say in the last video that hard mode didn't feel that hard and it hasn't been you know doing the imprecise farming it's not been that difficult because i've been perfectly happy to get to okay or good as a baseline for achieving doing well and actually i was looking at the environmental score that i've got on the farm because we're not going to be hitting 100 because we're not doing everything perfectly um and that was based i put a comment on fsg's last generations video about how um he's not using precision farming yet because you know he's going by his gut but by not having precision farming going by his gut and just applying what the game does means he always gets perfect results so i suggested that he do what i'm doing in doing the imprecise farming and someone said yeah but without all the information your environmental score will tank um and yeah, so I'm using the agronomist on here, so we pay someone to come and scan the field and take soil samples and do that. Um, in the time that FSG is playing at the moment, I'm assuming e either that existed or just dropped my pencil, which I need because I need to make some notes as I'm recording. So give me a second. Um, you know, the equivalent, I think, is, you know, like great uncle Jeb coming over and sniffing your soil and telling you that you need, you know, lime or whatever. So... I think it's been a really fun way of doing precision farming in precisely um, and the bit that I'm trying to get to is what I found is my environmental scores are still up in the high 80s so I think I'm averaging about 87 as an environmental score and almost nothing has been perfect so I think that's really cool um, you know we're still getting in bonuses off the environmental bonus side of the game so yeah I think it just shows that a lot of people, when they play with precision farming, really stress about it. You know, it has to be 100. Um, or, you know, it has to be as good as it can get. And it doesn't, you know. I, I am someone who, in the past, I used to want... You know, if I was playing a game like this, I'd want it to be perfect. I'd want it to be 100, you know, because that's what you're trying to achieve. As I've got older and gone through life and dealt with a whole bunch of stuff good enough it's good enough um i suspect in real world farming there's a whole lot of it's good enough you know um dealing with nature and environmental factors and everything else i doubt they get perfect you know i i doubt their their, their equivalent of whatever you know an environmental score is a hundred so this is what I'm doing. Yeah. I think I just realized that automatic application had turned itself on at some point. I might have hit the key. Um, it's not really changed the amount we've applied because it's slurry, so it doesn't really matter because automatic with slurry just means it applies a set amount across the field. It doesn't adjust as we go until in the future what I'm not going to be doing. So there are some things that we aren't doing yet that I haven't played with really. I'm kind of keen to. Um, with the with precision farming they added in the non-homogeneity of slurry and manure i think that came with precision farming anyway so you'll notice that even though we're applying the same amount we're actually getting different amounts of nitrogen on the field like in the real world with slurry and manure because that's why they mix them a lot um but there's the the sensors um so at some point not sure which decade we'll add those in um there's the the crop scanner which i'm really not a big fan of anyway but at some point we might add them in for that little bit of a boost in yield 
um, and there's doing our own soil sampling in the future as well so I think that's probably not in this block the soil sampling I think that's maybe maybe 2010 ish when some of that stuff will come in maybe later um, I think some of the manure sensing stuff is quite new so that may be a way further off um, I've whacked up the application right here because basically I need to get more out of the slurry tanks because I still haven't built the slurry store because I still can't afford it um, I'm expecting that in August we will have another field to harvest or other things to do but I do want to shift some of the silage bales as well I need to go and recover some of the kit from DS Agri to be able to do that so slurry done we're going to grab one of the cedars these are one of the things I might replace as well I just they're really good you know they're big they're cheap but I just don't feel they fit with farming in I guess in Ireland as we are here so you know you can't get them down the road easily that kind of thing so I think probably we'll be getting some more normal cedars it means they're going to be smaller but you know it is what it is in that respect we might be able to get a six meter cedar that can go on one of the bigger tractors for DS Agri. Um, my, my expectations for the next video is actually there might not be very much farming in it. There's probably going to be a lot of shopping and some talking. Now I do a lot of talking anyway, I know, but I have an idea for the video that I want to try and do. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I think predominantly we're going to be talking about the next couple of years in game. So the last half of the 90s and what that... I, I've kind of chatted about it as we go through, but I think it'd be really good to put a... Put a I'm going to use management speak, sort of. Put a kind of marker in of what the rules are going to be for the next two game years and what we're going to have access to and what we're not going to have access to. Um, and then just going on a shopping spree. So there's a few things that I want to sort for the dairy and make sure that I've got the kit that I need to keep running the farm because that has been a bit of a not really a frustration I've had to think more where a lot more of the kit that we own is off helping the contracting business and that's going to be balanced out by the fact that I'm going to get the contracting business more kit because they're going to have access to some newer stuff so yeah Basically, I want to make sure, wow, I just put the forks right through that bag of seed. I'm trying to get the pallet of seed out the back because I thought it'd be easier to pick up. And this front loader really struggles to get the big bags high enough to get them in the cedar. Um, yeah, I'm going to be getting them a few bits to make their life a bit easier. So I think that between that and shuffling kit about, we'll probably end up with a reasonable setup back here down at the, the dairy. Um, I feel that we're going to be the... Uh, the the younger child shall we say um i'm just trying to think of an, a term that i didn't want to ups, uh, accidentally upset people i think we're going to end up with a lot of hand me down kit from the contractors um because they're going to need their kit refreshed pretty frequently i don't care if i've got a tractor with a lot of hours on it it's going to add some character um and i think they're going to want bigger kit eventually so yeah I think there's going to be a little bit of a flow down from the contractors into the kit we keep on the farm here i'm probably going to try and get more involved with the contracting stuff as well um it depends what's going on on the farm i, I kind of rushed through june mainly because the only thing that was available in june was more harvesting contract not harvesting more baling contracts and the guys had done a lot of baling contracts i do a lot of grass work anyway so i figured not so exciting to get involved in harvest is always popular and fun um and there's this this field work coming and i do enjoy field work so that'll probably start to mix in as well yeah and my throat is slowly fading this week it's uh it's definitely getting worse i still think some of it is me yelling at the dogs because they've been really annoying this week um i think they can pick up on the fact that um there's a bit of tension in the house. I'm still, I'm feeling less tired, but it's 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 a way off. Um, the tension in the house is because we have some stuff that we're working through with Mrs. D's legal stuff and, you know, sorting out paperwork and things. And it's, I did speak about it on the sugarcane video. There's two things, it's 
you know it's legal stuff so you've got to pay attention and get things right and also it's quite hard reliving everything and obviously we live with the impact of the um the accident she had and the changes it's given in her health we live with that every day but reading it is really different um it just hits different when particularly um reading stuff that she's written about how things have changed and how she feels and you know long-term stuff it was kind of hard it was kind of hard um yeah so i think the dogs can pick up on that sort of underlying extra stress and tension and that puts them on edge and the way they react when they're a bit more on edge is they are more vocal and have a go at each other so and that means i shout at them and i think that's why my throat hurts partly also wondering if partly i am still a bit under the weather and that's why i've been so tired i'm going to blame some of my tiredness today on a certain greyhound waking up at I got up at four or half four, um, having been awake for a bit. So yeah, it's uh, it's Thursday today. Recording this video a reasonable way in advance, ahead of the bank holiday weekend. Um, I'm trying to get enough videos done so that I can take the weekend off again and not have to worry without having a gap in the channel. So uh, so it's Thursday today, which means I'll be streaming um, later with the farming agency i might actually be hosting the stream which will be a challenge and i'm gonna be yeah more dead than i normally am by sort of 9 p.m here so we'll see how it goes eh we'll see how it goes you will know how it went because it's like four days ago but you know time travel it's a thing so yeah i'm trying to get a nice buffer um i've been putting a bit more effort in on the recording during the week this week getting a few more hours in on the not day job getting a buffer of videos done and i'm in a pretty good place at the moment i've got one two three four five five videos either done or almost done so yeah it's pretty good i'm sure it will, what, I, what i find is that buffer very quickly fades away so um yeah we'll see i would like to get a few more done before the weekend but i do want to take off most of the weekend from I, I find it really hard to do content creation during the week or during the weekend so yeah it, 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 i just i just struggle with it i don't know why um, i ate some last weekend and yeah i don't know why i just do I, I think it's because i i like spending so the weekend is generally the only time I get to spend a significant amount of time with Mrs. D and I run for a big chunk of that. And so it's nice to not spend the rest of it sat in the spare room making YouTube videos. Right, yeah. Um, I did say that the um, Zito struggles to lift the big bags high enough to get them in the cedar. So we're going to take the, um, the lizard arm thingy that we brought for doing fertilizer and use that to lift the seed bags because I think that will go high enough and we can then get the seed in the seeder because I don't use the magic R button on here. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, the the tractor that we're going to get as our main, it's going to become our main tractor and it's not going to be one that I hand over to DS Agri. It's going to be my tractor. Um, that is going to have a front loader on it and it's going to be bigger than this. Um, going to be i think it should be similar horsepower to the fiat so that will be cool um i'm just making some notes because i need to blur out the chat on the screen i find it's easier to blur it out than worry about what's said and only blow some of it out so and i am uh, when i edited this i didn't actually see all of it so just making sure i've got that covered um yeah yeah, so I've got a tractor in mind. I'm not being clickbaity cryptic. I just want to do it in one hit. I think it'll be cool up. But yeah, it should be similar horsepower to the the Fiat that we had, which was a really good tractor for me working on this farm. Um, it'll have a front loader. It should have a front three point as well. So yeah, probably I'll hang on to one of the Deutzes as well. So I think down here we'll have the Z-Tor, another tractor and the Deutz. It gives us a nice balance. Um, the Deutz is a really good tractor for doing the feeding. 
Yeah. So that's what I'm planning at the moment. And uh, I've got a plan for what I want to get DS Agri. Depends on funding, obviously, which is, uh, you know, I did speak about that in the last video, which you guys haven't seen yet because I'm recording this before it is available to you. So that's really weird. It looks like there isn't slurry on that part of the field, but there definitely is. Hadn't noticed that. That's very strange. Oh no, it's because I've been seeding. Duh, Jesus. Did I say it's been a long day? Um, oh, wow. Anyway, we are getting the seeding done. I'm going to need to roll this as well. And we are also approaching 20 hours on the Ford. So um, I've been running the fur at min level. So it's just putting in a little bit of solid fur. You know, it's going to bed the grass in nicely, hopefully. And uh, we're then going to get the rollers out and roll it roll the grass as I was doing at the last weekend with the freshly seeded grass that I try am trying to regrow um, yeah if I keep this as grass pasture I might regret missing a few bits which I think I did we might have to bring the cedar out and fill those in and you want to drop the cedar down buddy as well that really help with putting seed in the ground if you lower it down um, I don't know if you can see from the bottom of the screen and you might have earlier on, I think we had um, Eagles, Unexpected Bill, Marnox and Kartek working away on these harvesting contracts. So yeah, the server was really popular over the weekend. It's very cool. Um, at this point, I am going to say thank you. But I'm just making a note and then I'll say it. So I'm talking at the microphone. I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Um, I appreciate the people that watch the videos as well, but the um, the extra support through Patreon and YouTube channel membership does really give me a bit of a boost in terms of how much the channel makes. And so far, all of that plus more has been reinvested in what I do. Um, so it's brought the the new computer that I use for. Um, so it's used for doing streaming, it's used for when I record multiplayer content, it's used for editing and rendering and all that kind of thing, so that should last me years, if I'm honest. There's, there's a couple more bits I want to do to that, I want to get a, a better CPU, it has a kind of mid-range CPU in there at the moment, and I want to put more storage in, but then I'm pretty sure that will do me for a while. Um, then there are a few other bits and pieces I want to get to make my life easier for content creation, so yeah that's what that goes to and for um you know the the music that i use i don't use it as much these days but um that's licensed through a platform called epidemic sounds so i pay for that every month and a couple of other bits not complaining just explaining where the uh the money goes from for those of you that watch and generate income through youtube for me and those that do that bit extra and uh, support the channel through Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Particularly the three of you at the very top tier. That makes a huge difference. So thank you. Um, we're nearly done with the seeding. As I said, we are going to need to do rolling and really hoping that we can get this seeding finished before we hit 20 hours because the um, our other tractor is not going to pull this. Um, you know having a quick check in the sales for anything interesting and there are some rollers there because we, we have a four meter roller and i don't, didn't fancy at this point rolling this field with a four meter roller um i was half tempted to not actually bother rolling it because this was going in as a cover crop but it's actually becoming i think our new grass field so um yeah i'm kind of glad that i did roll it in the end because otherwise that would have bugged me and i'd probably needed to replant it in the winter so yeah we have run out of fertilizer doesn't really matter we weren't applying much and it's grass so we're just going to keep throwing slurry and manure on this and that will keep it fed yeah we don't need to worry about solid fur or perfect fur levels grass with precision farming as long as it's got more than i think it's 60 units of nitrogen it's good it ignores over fertilization so yeah that's fine that is how I pretty much always do grass with precision farming. The only difference lately has been Greenlands where we have an excess of solid fertilizer. So I do actually just apply automatic solid fur on there. 
Um, most other places I've always just gone for applying an excess of um, slurry or manure, assuming I've got it available. It works really well. It gets rid of the slurry or manure, it saves me buying fertilizer, which on here is really good because we don't really want the cost. Although selling selling manure and fertilizer, manure and slurry, sorry, is a good income for us. Um, and probably we will be doing some manure selling soon. I'll need to, you can see off in the distance there, we've got the blue, the Ford combine and going up the hill, we had, I think the fence with one of the red rock trailers on. So let's get these rollers brought because they're used, we can't lease them, we can't lease to own them or anything like that. Um, they require 60 horsepower, we have 59. What could possibly go wrong? I was tempted by the eight meter version, but didn't want to spend all our cash. So in the end, went for the 6.2 meter version. I did not to do that um, because I don't have enough cash. I think I was pondering whether I was going to add in money from DS Agri to that I could get the big ones because realistically, yeah. one of the things, one of the mods I've been thinking of adding actually is um, lime and rolling contracts. So if I gave those guys, um, if I brought the rollers, if we add rolling contracts in, I could give those guys the rollers so they can do rolling contracts. They might want bigger than eight meter rollers. I don't know. So. But in the end, I went for the 6.4 meter version anyway. So, um, but yeah, if you're worrying, wondering, the admin password for the multiplayer server is indeed star, 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 star. Yeah, one of the things I'm really not used to with, with playing on multiplayer is the fact that Oh, so we've got we're going to push it we've got a couple of not you know what 12 15 minutes left before we need to return this um is the fact that when i join the game when it's on multiplayer it doesn't instantly give me full permissions it seems to forget so yeah it doesn't even recognize me as a farm manager on when i joined ds agri um until i put in the admin password so yeah that might be a me thing i'm, I'm still learning multiplayer stuffs Yeah, let's uh, get some rolling done. So, may as well make use of the extra bit of power while we've got it, and we will then be going down to 59 horsepower. I'm pretty sure that I leased a set of these before, and I was running it with the Z tool. So, it'll be okay. Well, I know it's okay. I played this a while ago. Um, you know, it's, it's how it works. I guess, um, so I've been pondering, I might, there might be one that follows this pretty quickly. Um, and I went, when I was playing on Attingham, doing the, what I was calling the almost live videos were quite popular, more popular with some. Um, I'm thinking that Greenland, there might be a Greenland video like that this week. It depends. Um, depends if I can get it recorded before, if not, it'll be a video like this. Um, but, it's harvest season on Greenlands now, and that is quite well suited to doing videos like that. So yeah, got a biggish combine on there, so it doesn't take too long to get stuff done. So yeah, I might be, might, I might do that. Um, I've actually spent a couple of one of the benefits of being woken up at four in the morning is I have a few hours before I start work. I spent that few hours progressing the Greenlands save through to um, through June to July. So if you watched the last episode of Greenlands, we were doing some whole crop silage in June, but I had nothing else to do in that month. So I spent the time progressing that through, which basically means keeping an eye on feeding all the animals and running all the productions. Um, and that's mainly running the two BGAs because they get through stuff quick because, you know, what they do so we are up to what am i doing i don't remember up to 19.8 hours so getting close to the point where this is going to go back and uh, we're going to sell uh the um the little roller that we'd brought um i'm selling because we don't need it we've bought these on sale it's got us back 
couple of grand of the money we laid out for these rollers they are a massive upgrade well they're a 50 percent upgrade just over 50 percent upgrade um but it's a much nicer piece of kit now one of the things that we that i can't do um because these 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 are probably way too modern for when we're supposed to be farming not every thing every not every implement is going to be from that era we're just going for the bulk because there are only so many mods and stuff available at the moment so probably in you know like in, in a year when fs22 is even more established so you know we're quite a way through we're a year and a half at this point of fs22 um but you know once once we're even further in there will be even more mods and we can uh, maybe pick those up but i am very picky about where i get my mods from so that does happen things um I, I spoke about it in a video and i haven't really followed up on it i spoke about doing a bunch of clickbaity videos and i haven't really um but i have in in my career is the wrong word in the path that i have taken through having a youtube channel being involved in the community i have made choices about how i interact with different people and different parts of that community um i have been maybe negative about some people and that's probably affected me i have been positive about people and that has definitely affected me so the ford is going back to the dealer so it's only taken three months to put the 20 hours on that we'd agreed we'd keep it for or buy it so off she goes um the final payment was in the 30,000s and i just wasn't willing to pay that for a tractor that we were kind of struggling to find a role for um so yeah i've, I've made some choices you know i maybe wrongly when certain maps came out i focused on they might be seen as more negative things. I focused on how to help people fix bugs in really popular maps. Um, and maybe that didn't make me so popular with those map creators. Um, I have not always engaged with some of those areas of the community. That may have hampered things. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, I've verbally given some creators, some, some modders, quite a hard time about some of the things that they do. And I suspect that has negatively affected some things that I do. But equally, um, and this is why the title of the video might be something like Choices Were Made. Um, you know, I I stumbled, I didn't stumble into it. I got really excited. Really, oh, actually, when I started playing with Maze Plus, I was quite nervous about it. It looked really complicated to me, so I was a little bit hesitant. That may have been because of where I was taking my information from initially, um, but got stuck into it. Um, was, you know, watching, Scroft was doing some really good tutorials back then on things like Maze Plus, was watching them, was chatting to him about, you know, different things and how things worked. Um, started making my own tutorials eventually once I understood how it worked and, you know, was getting really excited about what Maze Plus offered. Um, and so that took me down a direction of stumbling across a certain alien um those first few conversations were quite i, I found quite weird because i was talking to someone who was you know it's alien pool i don't say anymore it's alien pool um in my mind anyway um but that those choices and things have resulted in um me making a bunch of really cool friends um i am part of something i am a you know part of the farming agency that is doing some awesome things for farm sim um and so i have made choices about the direction that i've taken um whether it's creators i am positive or negative about people i choose to engage with um what i say about where i get mods from where other people get mods from um, and so I've made choices that have maybe in ways had negative effects but I think overall the choices that I've made have been really good for me um, and the path that I'm taking uh, not a bigger as big a channel as some bigger than others 
growing at a rate that I'm comfortable with and that the community that the community is growing at a rate that I'm comfortable with. You know, yeah, it'd be really nice to have, you know, half a million subscribers and hundred thousand people watching the videos. But I'd have to keep up with that. And that's you know, I'd struggle with that. So yeah, I, I think what I'm trying to ramble my way to is overall I'm really happy with the choices that I've made through navigating my way through the opportunities that have come up over time so yeah choices were made it wasn't so clickbaity was it really i don't know um we'll see there are some other things that i do want to chat about like that um, and i'm just going to sprinkle them through the videos i think uh, yeah pretty much done so i did mention as well that i was going to make some no i haven't spoken about those yet in a normal video so i'll save that for not rushing it because we're pretty much at the end now um, so there's some other stuff coming that I'll chat to you about in another video very soon um, maybe green lines maybe the next green video I will chat to you about that um, I've spoken about it in one of the patron videos which is why I was thinking that I'd already said about it but only a small fraction of you will have actually seen that so yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed this if you did click the like button uh, comments questions suggestions below and next time we are on maple farm we are going to be in the mid 90s so probably some dodgy fashion choices see you next time